This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Peter Larman back with me. Thanks for joining us, Peter. Thank you for having me, Kathy. You are at your store today at uh, Big Rito Tackle on Brockville Street. Yes, we are. That's right. And you're here. We're not, to... we're not on the boat, but we're in the store. <laughs> uh, and and it's, this is a great, well, I shouldn't even say it's a great time of year for you because you fish no matter what, winter, spring, summer, fall, right? Correct. That's yep. right. That's right. Yep. But we're here today. Try to get it. Sorry, go ahead. No, I said we try to get out as often as we can. And you can. You make it uh, available for everybody all time, uh, every time of the year. Yes. That's right. We try to anyway. <laughs> What's your favorite time to, to fish? Uh, for me, because I'm a, uh, a bass angler, um, I prefer to fish, you know, like from this time of year right through till um, end of November, early December. All right. Um, you know, like anytime I can get out on the boat, um, is a good time for me to go fishing. Excellent, excellent. Now we're here to talk about uh, a kids charity fishing tournament that you've put on for 17 years. This is your 17th year doing this. It is, I can't believe it's already been 17 years. Wow. Um, you know, when we first started, we had seven kids and the most we've had was 91 kids. And that was just before COVID. Right, right. Um, so, you know, last year we had 72 kids um, but we average over the years, we've averaged about 82 to 84 kids um, every spring. And I mean, you, you, you always uh, have a charity you, you're going to donate the money to, but it's such a great opportunity for children to get out and, and learn some fishing, get out some fresh air, just learn the art of fishing. It is. I mean, fishing is a, it's a really an inexpensive sport. I mean, obviously you, you can take it to that next level, you know, once you purchase boats and stuff like that. But it's still a very inexpensive sport. Uh, it can be done from shore. Um, you know, there's no age limit, right? Uh, you can, as if you can walk and cast to, you know, we've got people that are three, four years old. That One year we've had a child that was two years old sitting in a stroller and uh, the parent would cast and they would reel in. So that I mean that was great. But you could do it from that right in through your golden years, right? Uh, so there's no, it's not age defined. Um, you know, as long as you can get out to the to the shoreline and, and, and cast, you can fish. And uh, like I said, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, you don't have to go with the high-end products. You can do it right from, you know, uh, just what you need is just a rod and a reel and, and some line and basically a hook and a worm. And, uh, and, and, you can, and you can go fishing. And our great town of Smith Falls has got a river going right through it. It's, a, it's amazing the resource and the locations that we have within within walking distance of downtown Smith Falls. Um, I mean, you see every every summer you see kids on their bikes with their backpacks and their bike into the locks, right? And there's because there's so many lock stations around, uh, right? I mean, you've got Old Slides, you've got Edmonds, um, and then you can go up into Poonamalee and you can go into there and there's different places that you can fish all along the way. Um, so yeah, we're, we're fortunate to have that. Yeah, relatively in our backyard. And we've got Lower Reach Park where your event is going to be held too. We've got docks there and we've got the, just even the river edge. It's all rocky. You can stand it there and, and do your fishing there too. You can, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, that, and that's where the event is held. It's done at Lower Reach Park. Um, we basically stretch from just before, I mean, when we get all the kids out, uh, they stretch from basically the parking lot almost to the road. Um, all along that shoreline and up on the dock and everything and, and they're casting away and you know the smiles on their faces when they land a fish is is what's all this is about right it's to, uh, to, to, to we also try to educate them right so we show them how to how to bait their hooks how to tie their hooks how to how to cast if they if they're having issues or, or wanting to learn more and it's uh it's a passion that i've had since i was a kid um you know my daughter's fished uh, you know, my son's fish and all that. And we, everyone's fished. And when we pass that on to the next generation, right, originally this all started with, you know, let's get the kids away from the TVs and the Xboxes and that and get them outdoors. And yeah, you could fish on, on your Xbox, but it's not like fishing with a real rod and reel and, and feeling that fish fighting and, and jumping and, and the excitement you get, right? I mean, I'm, I'm 54 years old and, and Last summer we went out. We we had an amazing day, and I caught three five-pound fish consecutively, not in consecutive casts, but in that one day. And when I landed them, I was still sitting in the front of the boat, and I was giddy, right, uh, excited. And to me, 
that's something that you, you can't get, you know, from, from, from a video game or whatever. And, and like I said, I've been doing this for a very long time and I'm still excited when I land a big fish. Right. So I try to want to pass that passion on to, to the next generation and so on and so forth. And we've had, like I said, 17 years, we've had uh, families that started with us. We're one of the original seven kids that started. They come back now and they volunteer. Um, and they're passing that on to the next, you know, to the, to the younger kids. Um, and, and that's what this is all about, right? It's to get more people outside to see. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything to go outside. That's right. Right? That's so right. you can go out and get fresh air, get exercise. And again, like I said, it's, it's inexpensive if you want to get into it. And then where you take it from there, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's endless, really. You can't. You, we have four Canadians right now that are fishing the professional fishing tour. Um, you know that they make a living fishing down in the U.S. And uh, yeah, you know, one of them actually just won the world championship uh, back in uh, in April. So, you know, there's there's so much that you can do with fishing now, and even uh, you can get into there's some of those high school programs. Um, and then if you get into the to the U.S., there's you know there's university programs where you get scholarships to go fish and, and wow. get an education. So there's there's a lot. The fishing has changed a lot over the years, especially if that's the route the person wants to go to. But like I said, fishing is uh, is it's a release for everything, right? You, you go out when I go out fishing, it's it's there's not a care in the world. I listen to the nature. I listen to the uh, you know the birds, the waterfowl, and you know when you're out there, you see amazing things. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, you're talking about these uh, four Canadians that are professionals now. Maybe it started with a little tournament like you, you were holding on to, right? You're holding right now, too. So that, that these are great opportunities. Now, you're asking children if they have the gear to show up with it, but you are also providing it for people that are maybe just first-timers. We do. We do have a limited number of, of uh, rods and reels that we can uh, that can get signed out. Mm -hmm. uh, we do provide the worms, and obviously, if you need uh, little hooks and whatever, we can provide that as well. Uh, but yes, we do recommend that if you if you have your own tackle, please bring it with you. Uh, we can provide you with all the worms for everyone, so that's that's not a problem. Um, we also have life jackets that you you can sign out. Um, again, a limited number. Uh, we recommend that if you're participating, bring your life jacket with you. Uh, there's a sign. There's a section on the waiver form that we ask that you wear your life jacket if you don't want to that's that's up to you you just released the sign the release form um but yeah, yeah we recommend that you, you bring a life jacket in your gear and uh and yeah then uh go out and have and have fun excellent so the day of it's saturday may 27th from 10 to 2. so are you asking people to register pre-register or register the day of how does that work uh they can they can register the day of, mm -hmm. I mean, if they want to pre-register, that's fine. They can just contact me here at the store at Big Rito Tackle. Um, but a lot of it's percent because it's, it's an event that happens rain or shine, right? So a lot of people want to see what the weather's going to be like that mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's Canada. Give it five minutes. The weather will change. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, so uh, you can register the day of, right? Uh, registration starts at 9 o'clock in the morning down at Lower Reach Park. And... Um, and and uh, yeah, like you said, it's ten dollars per child. A family of three is twenty-five, and then each additional child after that's five dollars. That will get you uh, three tickets, and we provide you with a lunch. So the anglers, the participating anglers, will get the lunch. Um, it's a hot dog, a bag of chips, and, and and a bottle of water, or any combination thereof. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's the, the then from there they get a number, and then we go, and then get to go fish at starting at ten o'clock. Excellent, excellent. And it is, uh, for 17 years, uh, it's been a charity fishing tournament as well, too. You've always given back. We have. We've always given back. We've had various charities over the years. Uh, we've had Chio. We've had Brothers. We've had Jumpstart. And this year, um, we're in the process of, um, we were trying to, do, to, to try another charity. And so I've contacted a friend of mine that's a teacher at the high school, at the Smith Falls uh, High School. And what we'd like to do is to, to donate a bursary to a graduating student. Um, so we're in the process of, of doing that. Uh, I have to contact, uh, he gave me the information for the people to contact at the high school. So we're gonna contact them and, and to find out how we can go about doing that. But that, that would be uh, something that we would like to do uh, this year. Um, 
if possible. Um, and if not, then there will be other local charities within within the town limits that we can that we will donate to. Um, you know, but yeah, we want to give back to the community. Um, you know, the community has been good to us since we since obviously for for years in supporting the tournament. But uh, you know, now that we're business owners in town, we still want to give back to the community that way. And I think that's uh, hopefully that's a, a a positive impact on on you know someone that's graduating from high school that. As we all know, uh, you know, uh, post to secondary education is uh, costly, and if there's anything that we can do to help out, then then that'd be great. Wow, uh, I mean, you're just helping out so many, uh, so many uh, people right with your your event right now too, Peter. You've got uh, you're going to be helping children get out there and get some fresh air and learn to fish, and even if they know how to fish, to have the opportunity to come out. But also, when they register, the money that they're collecting and and is going to be given back to the community. So it's a win-win all the way around. Well, we uh, we think so, or we hope so. Anyway, I mean that's the that's the whole uh, reason for this, right? I mean it's it's it was to get the kids out, and then how can we benefit what getting that out, right? Yeah. Originally, it was kids helping kids, and that's kind of what the the model is for for this event. Excellent. They help each other, but they don't they don't really they don't realize they're helping each other, right? Well, it's a start. So. It's a start. It is. It's a <laughs> Absolutely. Start. Absolutely. Um, so for more information, Peter, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, maybe more information, how to register? Um, they can they can get a hold of me here at the store at Big Rito Tackle. They could either uh, email us at BigRitoTackle at gmail.com or call us at 613-284-8284. Um, that's the store number. Um, or they can look on Facebook. There's a, an event page on Facebook called the Peter Lerman Outdoors Charity Tournament. Um, they can do that. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. Every child gets registers uh, will get a prize and um, you know uh, they, we have so many great sponsors that that over the years have helped us like this year you know we've got uh, X Zone, Streamside, uh, Rapala um, you know that's the, like the fishing part but I mean we've got Circle K, uh, the Town of Smith Falls, we've got Jib Pub and Chevrolet, Hunt and Dobson Insurance Company, um, you know uh, um, Shures Automotive but a big thanks also goes out to all of these sponsors, but even all the food this year is provided by the garden market. Um, so all the hot dogs and buns are that are provided by, by Derek from the garden market. So that's, you know, uh, it's again, community people and the people within the community helping out others in, in, in for this event. So, you know, without them, uh, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. And it's thanks to all those sponsors as well that, that help us put this on. Well, this is your 17th year and you've got a great reputation for this and giving back to the community as well, Peter. So we appreciate everything you're doing for the community and for our children to get out and enjoy a great day of fishing. You know, it's, it's, it's a pleasure and an honor to do it. Um, you know, I, I know what the outdoors has done for me and if we can pass that on to, to the next generation, then, then I'm happy. Let's do it. May 27th. Let's get out there and do some fishing. Thanks for joining us, Peter. Thanks for having me, Kathy. Have a great day.